In this problem, we're asked to find the volume of the following solid. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. What makes this problem difficult is that our solid is an irregular one. It's actually composed of two parts, or two distinct shapes. The first one is the bottom one, and that's a cube. And the second one, on top, is half a sphere, or in other words, we call it a hemisphere. which is half a sphere, right? Put those two together, and that's going to give us the volume for the whole solid. Let's break it apart, but let's start with the easy one. Let's start with our cube. Just pulling that cube apart here and looking at it on the side, we have a cube, and the dimensions of that cube are 8 centimeters by 8 centimeters by 8 centimeters. And we know from our work in geometry that the volume of a cube is simply the length times the width times the height. Specifically, it's the side times the side times the side, or in our case, 8 times 8 times 8, which we could also write as 8 cubed. We're going to put that into our calculator, and when we take 8 times 8 times 8, we get the value 512. So that tells me that the volume of our cube on the bottom is 512 centimeters cubed. Now we're going to proceed, and we're going to move up to the hemisphere. Now a hemisphere is half a sphere, so let's start with our formula for a sphere. So for a normal sphere, the formula for the volume of a normal sphere, see if you can recall, that's equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, right? So if we want a hemisphere, we actually want half a sphere, right? We just want the top half. And so we're just going to take that formula and multiply it by half. That is, we're going to take 1 half, and multiply it times 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. And if we want to do just a quick little cancellation here, right, what does that tell us then? That tells us that the volume of a hemisphere, and I'll write that down, so the volume for the hemisphere is simply going to be 2 over 3 times pi times r cubed. We simply have to find our r value, right, for our problem. Well, let's look at the shape. In the solid, the radius of this hemisphere is the distance from the center to the edge. Or if we look at it and parallel it across the edge of the cube, it's this distance right here. It's half the length of a cube. Looking at it that way, that tells us that the radius for this hemisphere is actually 4 centimeters. So that's what we're going to use to fill in for R. The volume of our particular hemisphere that's sitting on top of the cube is 2 thirds times pi times 4 to the third power, or if we like, 4 cubed. Now, 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, or 64. So what we're really multiplying here is 2 thirds times pi times 64. Now how do we type that in our calculator? I would probably start by thinking of 64 as 64 over 1, and I would multiply my numbers outside of pi together. 2 times 64 is 128, and 3 times 1 is 3. So what we're going to type in our calculator is 128 divided by 3, which gives us approximately 42.6666666. And then we're going to multiply that times pi. Now there should be a pi button on your calculator. If you multiply that pi button times 128 divided by 3, 
you should get approximately, when you put it all together, let's see, I'm going to type it in. Uh, let me type it in my calculator. So here we go. 128 divided by 3, 42.666 times pi gives us approximately 134.041286 dot, 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 dot. Now I used the pi button. You could also use 3.14, approximately 3.14 if you like, but if you have that pi button on your calculator, it's better to use that one to be a little more exact. 3.14, um, 3.14159 is also used sometimes, or the pi button on your calculator. So that tells me that the volume of my hemisphere is approximately 134.04 centimeters cubed. Let's put this all together. We have the volume of our base or our bottom cubed and that's 512. So our total volume is comprised of the base, which is the bottom cube or 512, plus the top part, which is our hemisphere. That's 134.041286. Adding those numbers together, we get approximately, I should be putting a little approximations in here, 646.0412 etc., 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 but we're rounding this to the nearest tenth. That means the single decimal place after my decimal point, and that's zero, and four is not very big, so that's going to stay zero. So that's 64, 646.0, or simply 646 cubic centimeters. This is the total volume for this solid. Now, summarize, what did we do? We took the volume of the cube on the bottom, and then we took the volume of the hemisphere on top, and we added them together, and that gave us our total of 646 cubic centimeters. I hope this made sense. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.